everyone, it's Carly and welcome to my channel. I thought I'd film today because I'm going on a little date tonight, which is very fun. And I just got my hair cut and I feel very like brand new and refreshed and I thought that I would just kind of walk you guys through how I do my makeup and hair for a fun date night. So don't forget to subscribe if you guys are new. I would really appreciate your support. And hit the like button if you like these types of videos. And let's just hop right in. Okay, let's dive into the makeup. I've already prepped my skin with my skincare and my moisturizer. And I'm going to put a little bit of this on and a little bit of this MAC strobe cream. Um, I didn't tell you what this is. This is the Glossier Priming Moisturizer. I like to use this in like not in comparison, combined is the word, combined with the MAC strobe cream because I feel like this doesn't do anything, but at the same time, like I like to have something that says primer on my skin, especially when I'm going to wear it for a pretty long time, um, like all night. I like to do a little concoction of the two, and we'll just spread that on our face. I, ugh, I'm so mad at myself. I... I feel like I always film these videos when it's the time of the month, so I just have to really show you guys how I cover everything up, but I had a little, like, <sighs> extraction sesh. Do you ever do that? Like, I'm so good at not picking up my face. I feel like I'm pretty good. But sometimes when it's like, I don't know, like, it's just looking at you and you're like, why are you there? You know? So then I had to glove up and go in. <laughs> For business and this is why we have this red dot <laughs> so anyway um so the primers on my face and I feel like some of you would think like oh, why are you putting that on when you're breaking out but like I don't know I just feel like breakouts are going to happen and I still want my skin to be glowy and look like skin and so I don't want it to be just like this mattified cake base um so I like to add like glowy textures even when I'm breaking out obviously like I'm not gonna highlight this but like under my foundation it looks beautiful and it makes me feel comfortable because I'm covering a lot because I have a lot to cover but I feel like when you look at me it's not like <gasps> you know like I would rather see like little spots than like caked I don't know that's just my personal preference I'm using the elf flawless finish foundation and I absolutely love this I heard about this I think I was watching Adrian by loans or Hohen I don't know either one I was watching her YouTube channel and she uses this and I was like I love that so we're just gonna plop this all over the skin So I feel like one pump really does my whole face. Um, as you can see, it's just like a nice even coverage. I like it because it's very buildable, but on like one pump, this is kind of what you get. And I like the way that it looks um, because I just like to spot treat the rest of my face. Um, I don't like to go heavy handed on the foundation. And then I just use another pump for like my neck because I do like to bring it down, especially because in the summer, um, I'll probably be wearing like a strappy dress. So. I don't know. I just feel like I need to blend it all the way down. I'm going to go in with my concealer, and this is the e.l.f. 16-hour camo concealer. I really love this. I've talked about this in my last, like, get ready with me, and it's such a good one. I'm almost out, actually, uh, which is not great because I have a lot to cover up. <laughs> and, oh, yeah. I love this. It's such a great dupe for the... A Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. So I'm going to put just a tiny itty bitty dot in the inner corners of my eye because I don't like a ton of concealer under my eyes. But we are going a little bit glam, so we're going to do it. And then I'm also putting it on the top of my eyelids as my eyeliner, no, <laughs> as my eyeshadow primer. And then I'm just going to dab a little bit on my forehead. This is truly running out, so what are we going to do? a little bit on my nose and then so I just kind of like to put it throughout the center of my face so I'm going to do that with my chin and then we are going to put it on my little spots so just everywhere where I need a little bit more coverage which feels like my entire face this week I got so emotional the other night <laughs> and I feel like Sebastian said that I am but I feel like I'm not always emotional around the time of the month like that's just seems like so not stereotypical but you like of course you're emotional 
on your period, you know? But, like, I feel like I'm not, but... <laughs> I, one of my favorite YouTubers, now I'm just going to take my beauty sponge and just blend that in, but one of my favorite YouTubers, her name is Rhiannon Ashley, I love her, I will link her down below, I've been watching her for probably four years, she is just like my favorite, she's like one of my idols here on YouTube, and she's just like the most down to earth YouTuber, and I feel like this day and age in YouTube is very refreshing to have that type of person, so... I've been watching her for such a long time, and she recently uploaded a vlog about her daughter's third birthday. <laughs> and since I've been watching her before she's had her kid, I felt like I've been a part of their life in the weirdest way. Um, and so I was telling Sebastian that at the end of her little vlog, she did like the cutest little like rewind of all of like her daughter's memories that she's captured for us on YouTube, and it was just like a little playback. And I told him that I was starting, like, I was like, oh, I was watching it and I was crying. But that didn't, like, weird me out because I usually cry on cute things like that. So I was like, but the weird thing is, is as I was, like, telling him that I was crying, I started bawling. Like, I just, I was like, and then I just started crying. And then I just started bawling in front of him. And he was just, like, looking at me like, what the heck do I do? And I just got so overwhelmed with how much... I don't know that channel means to me and how much YouTube means to me I don't think I've ever I mean I've kind of talked about why I started my YouTube channel aside from it being something I truly love and enjoy um, I really started YouTube because I don't know I was in such like a sad time in my life like super sad I mean I've been through a lot but in my life but for some reason a couple years ago it just felt like unbearable and when I felt like I had no friends, nothing to look forward to, like, these people online were my friends and were the people that, you know, like, helped me just, like, relax at the end of the day or when I was feeling stressed or when I had, like, my moments of anxiety back in the day. Like, these people were my friends, which sounds crazy because they're all across the globe and I've never met them and I probably won't ever meet them, but I just got so emotional talking about her channel and what it's done for me and like being able to watch her raise her kid um and not in like a creepy way but you know what I mean and so it was just crazy it was the craziest situation I've never like broke down crying over a YouTube channel but anyway I just wanted to say that because I hope and it doesn't have to be my channel if you guys are watching that means a lot to me because I know what it's like to watch someone that is like very interesting and like it's like, a, like a lot of you guys will like repeatedly comment on my videos and it like means a lot to me and so I don't know I just think that that's why I wanted to do YouTube and even if it's not like that right now my YouTube channel is that for me which sounds selfish but it's the thing that m makes me feel really good and helps me and I don't know, I just really like it. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> oh, I didn't tell you, I'm setting my eyes with the, what is this? This is the Lancome Absolute Powder. I guess I can show you. It's a very hard package to show, but it's the Absolute Powder. And I'm taking that on my eyes and just a little bit of where I set everything else so that it doesn't crease up. Okay, I kind of wanted to just run and grab and get a setting spray. This is not a setting spray. It's like a the Lavender Mario Badescu spray. But I feel like any spray is like great. So I just want to give it a quick spray because I just get a little bit nervous when I have lots and lots of makeup on. I just want it to like set in there. And when it's still kind of wet, I'm just going to take my beauty sponge and just press everything in I just feel like this steps like step really helps even if it's not like a traditional setting spray this stuff just works so wonderfully so now we're going to go into our bronzer contour situation I'm going to lightly lightly contour with this uh this is the wet and wild I don't know this is the wet and wild mega glow stick if you guys can't even see there's like no packaging no like label or anything on this uh it's like probably a dollar maybe two but it works really well but their packaging's a little wonky so i'm just gonna put this like a tiny amount over here over here over here and on my eyes 
I'm great at explaining makeup. And then I'm going to take this little wet and wild brush, which I actually really love, and blend that all in. Okay. Now I'm just going to go over it a little bit with the Milani Baked Bronzer. I love this stuff. This is in the shade Soleil, and it's so gorgeous, especially at night. If I had a tan, it would be even better because it has like little speckles of gold in it that's just like super subtle. But on its own, I don't think it's great. I like to mix it. So that's why I kind of do a little bit on top. There's our bronzer done. Now I think I'm going to go in, I can't decide, with my little breakout right here in my nice blush area. I just don't know if I'm going to do a cream blush or not. This is the Burt's Bees All Glow in Suzanne's. And I really love this. I talked about this before already. I think like twice. And I really do love it. Um... Yeah, I think we're just going to do it. We're going to do a little bit of blush today because I kind of like being like very blonde, <laughs> blonde, very bronzy. And we'll just do this right over my cute spot. And I just think that's a stunning blush. And I just love to like blend it all in. And then I'm going to set that or spray it one more time with the lavender spray from Mario Badescu. I just love to just add so much moisture into my skin and make sure everything is very pressed in and hydrated. This is from Ofra and this is the Glazed Donut. It is a very like white pearly highlighter and so I think it's going to look best with the color of my skin right now and it's just a gorgeous highlight. I don't know. It's very pretty. And I'm taking that also a little bit on my forehead. I love a forehead glow. It's just so pretty. That is my face done. I'm really pleased with it. I really love that coverage and I like the color. I just think it's working very nicely. So now what we're going to do is move on to eyes and I'm going to go in with this Almay Velvet Foil Cream Shadow. I love these. This one is in the shade Golden Vibes and I love this. I follow, oh my gosh, Elena, 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 I think her name is Elena um, on YouTube and I will link her as well and I really like her for makeup. She does like uh, full face Fridays of like one brand or like the drugstore or something and she talked about these and they were gorgeous so I'm just gonna take that on a very flat like definer brush and pop that on my lid I you can also use your finger which works great but I feel like my fingers are a little bit like out of control and they just don't give me they kind of spread it where I don't want it to go yeah, so I just think it's like a gorgeous foil shade. It's very summery, very pretty, very glowy with the rest of us. And then I'm going to go in, pop into the James Charles palette because I really like this particular brown. I just, mm, I don't know what the, the shade name is. I'm super sorry, I don't know. But this brown right here, it's just really nice for in the crease. So I really love that. So I'm just going to pop that on the crease just to kind of blend everything out. I didn't want anything too orangey and so it's just like a nice straight brown I think is pretty for our transition shade. And I'm going to do, I was going to do a winged liner but I kind of think I don't know, I just like the like awake healthy, it's like I have a lot of makeup on but at the same time I want to look like I'm just bronzy, you know? And so I think I'm just going to do a little bit of a darker shadow from the same palette. I'm going to go into this brown here, I don't know what it's called, sorry about that. But I'm just going to take it on a very very short definer brush like so and just pop it as close to the lash line as I can get, just kind of smudge it out. really loving them so that is my liner once I put on oh I guess I could do it right now I'm just gonna do a 
smidge of a little bit on my bottom lash, not too much, but just something. And I'm just taking that same brown that was in my crease. I just popped it on my lower lash line. For mascara, I am using the Laura Mercier Caviar Volume. I am going, ooh, I'm going to do my eyebrows with the CoverGirl, uh, just their little brow pencil. It's a great dupe for the NYX micro brow pencil. I really love it. I still have not gotten my eyebrows done, you guys, for my last Get Ready With Me, and I don't exactly know when that was, but that was a long time ago. Ugh, I don't know why I haven't. I just... I need to, but I just haven't. I do not like getting my eyebrows done. I don't know what it is. I know some people love it. I do not like it, and I've been so out of habit of doing it, that now I'm just like, ugh, whatever, I'll just have a really full brow. But this is the last week I can go without getting them. So next time I put a video up, my eyebrows will be better, I promise. <laughs> I forgot I turned off the camera because eyebrows were boring <laughs> to film, um, but I just finished setting them with the NYX Control Freak setting or like brow gel. I really love that. Now I'm going to give my face one last spray with the Mario Badescu spray. I don't know. Ugh, I just ate it. Now, before, I'll probably pop on a lip right before we head out but now we're gonna fix our hair because our curls are very flat and non-existent and not like I make my hair super curly when it's this length but I like to add something so I'm gonna go pop on my curling iron and then we'll be right back here to do our hair okay we are back and I changed into a tank top because I felt like the robe like you couldn't really see where my hair like ends and so I just thought for this hair part we would be in a tank top so um the first thing that I'm going to do is just brush my hair. <laughs> Sounds weird, but I'm just going to get all of the tangles out. And then the curling iron that I use for my short, short hair, I like to use a curling iron rather than a straightener. I just feel like this is super easy and I really don't touch a lot of my hair. So it just goes away so fast. So this is the, oh my God, what is this called? This is the Babyliss Pro. Babyliss? Babyliss? I don't know. Um, my lady that did my hair, she recommended I get this. So I'm just going to take a huge chunk of hair and, sorry, I'm going to look here, but hopefully you guys can still see. And I kind of start up at the root and just go pretty quickly and I don't really touch the ends. So I leave a good chunk of the end out and then when I let it go, I don't know, I'm really bad at explaining hair. I do not like explaining hair. But I just do rapid, fast curls, if that makes sense. And as you guys can see, I'm not like touching the bottom at all, I'm not sectioning. I'm just kind of going randomly throughout my hair because the bottom's so short that it's not even worth it and it would like stick out weird. Um, so this, just doing the top pieces really helps get just like those fun beachy relaxed waves and I'm just gonna move on so that took me like four minutes maybe so I'm just gonna go to the other side and I'm gonna continue on doing away from my face every once in a while I think you're supposed to do like one towards your face but I always forget to do that like I did on this side so I don't do that <laughs> but I think you're probably supposed to to give like that beachy look So that's literally all I'm going to curl. Now, I'm just gonna turn this off, it's kinda scary. Now what I'm going to do before I like throw in texture or anything like that, I'm going to hit the ends with some oil and I love using this Kristen S Working Serum. I love it, it makes my ends look so healthy. I mean, I just got the biggest chop, so they're very healthy right now. But I just love to throw it in there and it also just, it just makes your hair feel so smooth, so silky and also just very healthy and it makes your hair smell very good. I also just really like that. 
now we are going to play with some texture. So I really love the Bodyguard. This is a protective texture spray, and I probably could have used it before, but it doesn't really, it like makes my hair feel weird when I curl it and use it before. So I just like to use the texture part, not the protection part. And I just like to throw it in my hair kind of all over. This is the SGX NYC brand, and I love them. And I feel like everybody else is loving them because now when I go to the store, there's like never the dry shampoo that I really want. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to like lightly tease it a little bit. I just hit myself in the head. And I'm going to tease a little bit of the root just to give it some cute volume. And then last step, I'm just using this Tresemme hairspray. It's like always my go-to when I don't feel like spending $14 on hairspray, which I don't know why hairspray is that expensive. It sometimes like really bugs me because I don't even really like hairspray. I just like it for the occasional thing. So that is how I've been doing my hair. And I really just love to do like a quick little tuck behind the ear. I just think it's very feminine. I love having short hair. It makes me feel so chic and like, I don't know I just really love it so it's very easy to do and very low maintenance and I'm just so happy with it I probably will top this off before I head out the door but just to show you guys I'm going to be using the Zoella X ColourPop liquid lipstick in the shade what this is in the shade at me and I really love this I'm out of the liner but I'm just whatever <laughs> still just gonna use it Okay, that is uh, my completed look, and I really love it. I think it's so, so like fun and summery. I feel very playful and not too glam, but still something more than I would do for like work or something like that. But yeah, that is the look.